38. Let's talk to the voice of the creative economy from Idealog magazine, idealog.co.nz. It is Vincent Hearing this morning. Morning, Vincent. Good morning, Wemo. How are you? Very well. Um, and uh, you're sounding chipper for um, uh, going to an awards evening last night, the NZ Marketing Awards. Oh, yeah. TVNZ New Zealand Marketing Magazine Awards. It's yeah. quite a mouthful and it's a long night, but um, but a great night. A yeah. celebration of all the um, marketers in New Zealand. And, and many people, Maybe some people would say that shouldn't be a celebration. <laughs> but well, we do. When, when, you, when you say marketers, is, is, I mean, is this advertising? What, how does that, how, you know, where do they fit no, into the spectrum? We draw quite a distinction between marketing and advertising. Obviously, they're, they're in the same family, but... You know, advertising is just one expression of marketing. Marketing's all about understanding your customer and then figuring out how you're going to reach them. And one of the choices might be through advertising, but it might also be customer service or product design. Now, it, marketing's a, a, a business discipline. Advertising is like a creative execution. So does it fit somewhere between PR and advertising? Well, I suppose PR, like advertising, is a subset of marketing. Mm. Okay. So marketing really is is kind of like the super group, and then the the, the kind of the communication disciplines like advertising, public relations, direct marketing. Those things fit within the super the super group. Okay. All right. Well, what kind of um, campaigns and what kind of people were up for awards? <clears throat> uh, this year was dominated. We've had um, this is the twentieth year, by the way, that um, these awards have been held. Yeah. Um, and uh, they they change over the years. You know, sometimes it swings between smaller guys doing well and then bigger guys. And last night it was the it was the big brands that did well. So the overall winner, the supreme winner of the. Um, of the marketing uh, awards was um, Progressive Enterprises for the, the relaunch of Countdown. If you recall, about a year ago, um, Countdown merged with Woolworths hmm. and they changed their logo. Do you remember that? They changed I do, their, yeah. Their yeah. logo to a um, what, what some people are calling a Wapple. Yeah. Looks like a, a W in the shape of an apple. Yeah. Or maybe it's an apple in the shape of a W. Um, and they did a whole bunch of stuff that um, brought all those those brands together under the Countdown brand, mm. um, and uh, it was kind of the the unifying, the unified thought behind that whole um, I suppose merger and then relaunch of Countdown that mm. was acknowledged as a success. Creating blandness on the New Zealand supermarket shopping scene. Oh gosh, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> what about Richard Till? The food, the chef. <laughs> yeah, love him, love him or hate him, he's uh, there. Well, <laughs> well, the thing is, um, it it worked. Um, yeah. They, in a in an industry that is incredibly tough, the, the two main foodstuffs this and Progressive are the two main supermarket yeah. um, guys, and you know they they battle it out for market share. And the merger and the relaunch of Countdown was uh, an incredible success for them, and mm. and gained the market share. Yeah, I mean, but so besides with the with the, I guess the job well done with the marketing side of things. I mean, my thoughts on on that, you know, like the, at least when, when there were two brands under Progressive, there there was um, at least a, 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 a guise of competition in the yes. market. Yes. Um, but I guess now they're just being quite truthful, and really is only a you know a duopoly. It is a duopoly. Mm. Yeah, it's it, and that's. Um you know, and on the one hand, that's not good for the consumer, but on the other hand, they are in fierce competition, and um, and <clears throat> you know the people that actually probably are the, um, the the losers out of that are the are the suppliers and manufacturers. Yeah, yeah. Let's not go there. No, no, that's not what we're about. And so, who else um, was? Well, we have some um, categories like the Rookie Marketer of the Year. That's where the mm. the younguns get a chance, yep. and the the they have some stellar. Um, Young folks, um, but the, the the winner of this year of the Rookie Marketer of the Year um, is a guy called Max Woodhead, and he is a, a young marketer with AUT University. And what did he do? Uh, he brought together all the, the research institutes of the university, which uh, is no mean feat because those uh, research institutes were all kind of little, their, their own little empires. Okay. And he brought them all together under one brand and helped them have a, again, a kind of a unified voice out in the marketplace. Huh. Cool. And he's only young, he's about 12 years old, and um, and was very successful. Was getting job offers last night. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, 
<clears throat> the overall winner was the marketing director uh, in terms of m the marketeur of the year, the person. Yeah. Uh, um, it was a woman, um, let me just get her name, Wendy Rayner, who is the marketing director of Lotteries. And her big uh, success last year was the relaunch of Scratch and Win. You know, the, uh, the Scratchies. Yeah. Um, in, in, in St. Kiwi. In St. Kiwi. Mm. In St. Kiwi. Okay. Right. Um, so you know, kind of, it was it was the night of the big brands. Um, there were some a, a couple of um, neat little um, vignettes in there. Uh, one that is a personal favourite of mine is the um, uh, it's Mount Cook Alpine salmon, which is uh, I've written about them in Ideologue actually. It's a very cool story of in in nineteen eighties, um, some bright spark put salmon in the um, uh, in the generation canals at mm. Lake Tiano. Yeah. And um, they've grown up to become quite a successful fish farm, and uh, relaunched it as um, not just salmon, but a sushi grade premium salmon mm. around the world, mm. and it's doing extremely well. And so, so an award dished out for that. Yes, indeed. Mm. Okay. So a kind of a radar was our host, yep. and you know, radar is fantastic because it's an industry that kind of takes itself a little bit too seriously, and, yeah. and radar certainly doesn't. And gave us um, gave us all a good serving. Indeed. Nothing better than a good roasting with no, your own profession. Exactly. And he's got a great TV show on at the moment as well. He does. He let us know about that TV show. I quite bet he often did. Yeah, that. yeah. Um, pretty good ratings I saw on uh, on the weekend for that as well, which is very chuffed about. Yes. Good yes. o. Um, yeah. Thanks, Vincent, for telling us all about the uh, the marketing awards. Uh, you can see the results if you're interested in such things. The results are at stoppress.co.nz. Nice one. Cheers, Vincent. See ya. Thanks, Wemo.